All right, this is the image in folder three called perspective cropping. And luckily for you, I'm a really bad photographer because my photos just keep looking worse and worse. Like this building just looks like it's falling over. Now that is typically going to happen when you're photographing large or tall structures. Obviously, since I was standing on the ground, the ground floor, the distance from my camera to this ground floor was a lot shorter than the distance from the ground all the way looking up here to the eighth floor. So you get this kind of pinched in perspective. That happens so frequently that Photoshop added a cropping tool just for this kind of situation. So I'm going to press and hold down on my crop tool and go to the perspective crop tool. Now this is going to act a little bit different. You have to start the box. It doesn't activate it for you. So I'm going to go right outside the corner of my photo. And just like the normal crop tool, I'm just going to click and drag over the entire photograph. So it'll put that same grid right there. You don't have the rule of thirds or the overlays. It just says show grid or don't show the grid, but I'll keep it on. And now I need to evaluate what's happening here. So if I look at this street lamp right here, that looks pretty straight. Same with this blue sign. They look pretty straight and vertical. So I'm going to leave this side of the photo alone. What I need to do, obviously, is fix the angle over here on the left. So I'm going to take this upper left corner and I want to slide it straight across the top. So in other words, in order to go perfectly straight across, you got to hold your shift key. So I'm going to hold shift, click and drag, and I'm going to drag it over until it kind of lines up with the edges of this building right about there. Okay, I'll go with that. What's about to happen is this is going to represent the new corner of your photo. Okay, all of this that is shaded out will get deleted. So now it's going to pull this corner back over to the left, which will pull the side of the building over to the left. Now I'm not sure if this is perfect, so I'm just going to hit return. And that building looks a little crooked. Okay, it looks like it's slightly tilting to the left. So I'll go to edit, undo. I probably dragged a little too far. So that's what's great about graphics. You just command Z, undo. And I do it again. Just click and drag, hold shift. Maybe I won't drag it as far over. Maybe right about there. Now I hit return and that building looks a lot straighter. Now the other thing that's going to happen when you do perspective cropping is your photo will look a little squished, like somebody just stepped on it on the top. The building looks a little shorter than what it should look like. So what I'm going to do is take my zoom tool, click and drag a little bit to the left so I have some room to work above and below. And I want to transform this photo, but you can't transform a background layer. It's like it's glued down to the table. So what I have to do is double click and I'll call this layer building. That's what's on it. So that's what I'll name it. And all I have to do to transform is command T to transform. Now, I don't want to just blow up this photo. What I want to do is slightly stretch it or distort it a little bit. So in order to distort while you are in transform mode, you hold your shift key. So I don't need as much grass down here. I'm going to hold shift and just pull the bottom edge down a little bit right there. I can hold shift and pull this edge up just a little bit. So the building looks a little more natural in its proportions. Okay, I'm about to lose a little bit of the photo up here, a little bit of the grassy area down here, but that's no big deal. Only you and I would know that anyway. So I'm going to hit return. Now, keep in mind, since this is not a background layer, you could accidentally bump it like this with your move tool or transform it again or whatever. So I'll go to edit and undo that move. When you're done, 
you can click the upper right corner of the layers panel, the pop-up menu. And mine's getting cut off in this video, so I'll just pull the layers panel out so you can see this. Click there and come all the way down to flatten image. The building layer will become a background layer again. There we go. That's an indicator that I am done. That layer is locked and it is good. So I can save this to turn it in for credit and move on. The only other thing I wanted to really warn you guys about is perspective cropping is kind of rare. Most of the time you're going to be using normal cropping unless you're an architectural photographer. Most of us aren't. So what I would suggest is once you're done using the perspective crop tool, press and hold, switch back to your normal crop tool, and then go to your move tool. So you are ready for any future photo with the crop tool, not the perspective crop tool. And there you go.